Oh, this is a Mac 10 charger. Uh, it is uh, built with the Beagle board, and we made some the fancy case with the 3D printer. Yeah, it has a power cable and SD card for operating system and some data, and there is a lightning cable which will be connected to the iPhone devices. Yeah. And then there is an iPhone device, and we reset this device to the factory state and just set the passcode. And let's look, uh, so there is no installed application, and let's look into the device information. So version of the operating system is 6.1.4, so it is not a jailbroken device, and there is no pre-installed provisioning profiles. So it is a pristine stay state and just set it with the passcode. And to simulate the scenario, we will install the Facebook application from the App Store, and it is the original Facebook application. So it is downloading and installing the Facebook app. How oh, it takes a long time. <laughs> yeah, now it is installed and executed. And it's just an original Facebook application. Yeah. So user can log in and use the Facebook. Yeah. There is no Trojan at this time. Yeah. And let's start. So user will see that the, there's a low battery and he will decide to charge with magnets, which is a bad choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now connect with the USB cable. Yeah. It is charging. And at this time, the pairing cannot be happened because uh, it is passcode locked. But if the user got some SMS message or if user wants to do web surfing while charging, user will unlock the phone. Then Mac 10's attack can start it at this point. Since the paired connection can be permanently available whether or not the device is locked, the Mac 10's attack can, can launch, uh, can continuously launch if, even though the device is locked. And while Mac 10's installing the provisioning profile and the application, there is no visual indication of the installing. Yeah. So it is look like it's just a regular charging. Yeah. And for the whole process of the attack, uh, it takes a, uh, it generally takes a less than one minute. Uh, but uh, in this case, since the Facebook app is quite large, you saw that the installing from the app store takes a long time. So installation of the Facebook takes like a 40 to 5 se 50 seconds. And install of the payload takes, takes a 5 to 10 seconds. So the overall, so, the installing of the, the whole step uh, takes around 80 seconds. So the, we will open up the target iPhone after the 80 seconds has been passed. So yeah, let's try to open the iPhone. So unplug it and Unlock the phone. And then there is no difference. Attack has happened, but user might not feel like there is any differences because that payload is actually the same as the Facebook application. So firstly, it launches Trojan and it launches Facebook application. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And since the original Facebook application is hidden, on the task manager, there's only one Facebook application is shown, and it is actually Trojan. And original Facebook application is not on the springboard, 
and it is not only the task manager too. Yeah. And we set the payload to do something after user locks the screen. And let's see what will be happen. Yeah. So there's a no hand at all. It unlocks, types a passcode. Yeah. <laughs> and it will make a phone call to the, the phone right next to them. Yeah. By typing is a phone number, calling. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, actually, phone rings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is MacTense attack. Yeah. 